welcoming everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, also HarbachElectronics.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. It is Friday. Thank gosh. I need a break. So, today we have a Heathkit SB1000. Very clean. Very clean. Dust or something. So, I looked at the air variable caps. You know, capacitors, they look good. Band switch looks good. I don't really see anything crazy wrong with it. It does have these old arrow caps, so I'm probably going to swap those out. So I'll have to order some. Those ones usually end up failing. So, uh, so I'm going to replace the SO239s that has old plastic, the old plastic type. What else? I'm going to add gas discharge tubes. I'm going to add a series glitch resistor. A series with the plate. Clean the rotary switches. Clean the TR slash bias relay. And uh, do, what, do whatever else I need to do, okay? So, stay tuned. I'll be back ASAP. 73. I want a video on 40 meters, so I'm going to do that real quick. See the settings, I'm at high voltage right now, 1kW slug on PEP, there's frequency, radio is set to about uh, 90, 100 watts, this is an older tube. Audio hello, audio hello, 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 audio hello, a little over a kilowatt, audio hello, 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 audio hello, hello, hello. Plate current. Audio hello, 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 hello. Power output. Audio hello, 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 hello. Audio hello, 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 hello. Works as it should. I'll let it shut it off. Turn the turn off, let the high voltage bleed down. I'll take the cover off and show you what I did inside. Hey, see you guys in a bit. I'll go over everything I did. So series glitch resistor added. Replace the old caps. Resistors. Old resistors get Place the new ones. Clean the TR slash bias relay. Change the Zener diode. Made sure I put the thermal grease where it should be between all the appropriate places. Added an internal tooth crush washer on this side. Underneath the nut has the washers up against the mica, so it won't loosen up. It's all snugged up. Brand new SO239s from Max Gain Systems. Awesome people over there. Get This is getting a brand new Pentalab tube from Pentalabs. Great people there too. Get this out of here. It's, it's unplugged. Change that jumper right there. It just wire shoved in there. Clean the band switch with Deoxygold. Added the two gas discharge tubes between the filament and the chassis. Uh, he, uh, this anode cap uh, was the wrong type and this wouldn't reach so I, I gave him a Drake type anode cap. Placed the plate blocking cap. It had uh, those ceramic disc caps, China ones, so I put, this is overkill, but I put a ceramic doorknob cap in there. Ran a new piece of high voltage wire from the series glitch back to the uh, board under there. The uh, filter cap board. And uh, that's about it. Came out nice. So if you need an amp repaired, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203-892-4119. Please like, share, and subscribe. Websites are amprepairguide.com and also harbachelectronics.com. I also tighten up on a bunch of hardware and fix some solder joints. But this is good to go. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. 73. forgot to add that the set screws were loose on the plate tune air variable cap, so when I turn it every once in a while, it would skip. So those are tightened up, and I snugged up on the bottom ones too. So, all set. Catch you later.